I'm here at the location of my next photographic composition and wanted to go ahead and share with you the results of my latest attempt at imaging Comet 2019 Y4 Atlas. I had an unexpected clear night last Wednesday, March 24th, and I dedicated two hours of that clear night to imaging the comet from about 9.30 p.m. to 11.30 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. It's always amazing what turns out. And in this case, while I was imaging, I was doing one minute exposures, I could see a faint fuzzy. And it, this area is known for galaxies. It looked like an irregular galaxy of some kind. And so I captured the image and processed it. And I just could not find what this galaxy was in any of my databases. So I reached out to the astrophysics user group, Dale Gent and Brian Valente, both provided me exactly what the object was and provided me some new techniques for doing plate solving, especially for these really dim objects. And in, in this case, this is a little bit shy of 17th magnitude object. It's a PGC object. I'm really indebted to them for providing that notation as well as how to go about notating images in the past. The video that's going to accompany this is going to show the movement of the comet over a two hour period through Ursa Major, still in Ursa Major. Without further ado, I'm going to show you a look at my setup that I used for this night. Then I'm going to transition into the comet image where I stacked all images for the night on the comet nucleus for about two hours. And then I overlaid that on about 10 minutes of a star field. And then you're gonna see the plate solving that shows you all the galaxies and all the numbers associated with that. There are 11 galaxies in the image. Then you're gonna see the movie that presents the two hours of exposure in an animation. And we're gonna keep watching this comet. I encourage you to do so. It's now's the time to get familiar with it. Get your binoculars out, get your telescopes out. And, and if you have long enough focal length, try to capture it photographically. So again, thanks for joining me, and until next time, clear skies. When you see this configuration out, you know it's galaxy season. This is my astrophysics. This is the longest focal length I can achieve with a Barlow on the Astrophysics 130 EDF Gran Turismo. And so this is what I'm going to use tonight. We are targeting, of course, Comet 2019 Y4 Atlas. I'm going to start with M81, but really I'd like to see if the night can hold up and get into M51. I'd really love to add some high quality luminance data. This is the Astrophysics Mach 1 go-to mount, and on top I use the SG4 Auto Guider. It's so simple. It's just a push of a button and this sucker works. So this is our configuration for tonight. And for any time I'm going galaxy hunting. <laughs> 